the the ways that I've really seen the ransomware landscape change and evolve this year kind of falls into two broad categories. Uh, the first is the this idea of extortion over ransom in a lot of cases where we're seeing more and more groups tend to kind of err on the side of just doing extortion attacks as opposed to actually deploying ransomware, kind of realizing that the extortion of the data alone is typically enough to generate ransom, and it's a lot less noisy than actually deploying ransomware. Now, on the flip side of that, we're really starting to see more and more groups start to pop up that are doing pure ransomware. But what we're really seeing is this impact of all these leaked builders and open source tooling around ransomware that has come out. And now people with a lot less uh, sophistication or technical capabilities are able to kind of build their own ransomware and are having success deploying it, either almost identical to the open source or the leaked versions, depending on the skill level, you're seeing more customization and more uh, development in custom features in those ransomware variants as well.